welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am doing the Draw This Again challenge. So on Instagram, I posted on my story a few of my old drawings and I asked my followers to vote for the one they wanted me to draw again. And so the painting you saw at the beginning of the video is the one that got the most votes. And so I was really excited to paint this one again because it was one that I created at the beginning of my watercolor learning. And so I was really excited to see um, how my skill uh, evolved and if my watercolor skill improved. But I was also interested in seeing my style evolution. I'm going to talk a little bit about the concept of the old piece. The theme of this piece was fear and especially feeling like your whole life is controlled by fear. So I wanted to depict a character who felt like their lives were out of control because every decision they made were based on that feeling that totally controlled them. So I asked myself, how can I symbolize and depict fear in a graphic way? And I thought about animal symbolism and I searched what animal um, is usually used in paintings, literature, cinema, etc. to represent fear and I found out that it was bats. So that's why I drew a bat on the top of the head of this character to symbolize that this animal which stands for fear is on top of the character uh, which means the animal has the power over the character. So that concept didn't change however I changed the composition and the color palette quite a bit so back then I had no idea what composition was, I just drew things uh, like that and if I thought they looked good, I started painting them. But now I have a more structured process to create my compositions. So if that is something you're interested in, let me know in the comments and maybe I can discuss it in another video. But basically, I created my composition so that the bat would be the focus point of the painting. And that's also what I did for the color palette. So it is still based on green, as in the old painting, but the green hue and the purple hue changed. And I incorporated some gray uh, in the clothing and I also changed the skin color quite a bit because in the old painting it was basically orange in the, the highlights and purple in the shadows and it was just really so saturated and in my new version I wanted the character to look a bit sick as if um, being controlled by this animal, by this fear uh, was making her sick and lose her mind. So making her look pale and choosing very desaturated skin tones was a good way to depict the sickness. So I am really happy that I decided to uh, draw this painting again because I can clearly see uh, first of all how my style evolved I noticed that now I like things to be a lot more angular and I really like sharp shapes. I also think I improved on my color palette skills. I feel like there is more of a harmony between the colors. I am also happy to see that my watercolor skills improved and now know how to create a flat wash, a graded wash. I feel a lot more confident in my brush strokes, but there is still a lot of things I need to learn and improve on. For example, 
um, I need to study and create more textures like for the bat for example I just shaded it as if it was skin just not with the usual colors whereas a bath has a very specific texture it has some fur and everything so I need to study more pictures and learn how to render them better but yeah I am happy to see that I like this one better than the old one I would definitely recommend uh, you to do this challenge first of all I think it is fun to see how you can depict the same theme um, but with a different skill level also it can make you feel better about your art because you can see clearly that uh, you improved and you can see where you improved and it can make you feel better when sometimes you are frustrated with your current skill level so let me know what you think of it in the comments also if you for the next time want to vote on the painting I will paint again you can follow my Instagram account which will be linked in the description and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope to see you in the next one bye